and here to talk about the part of Project Living Proof that takes place beyond the walls of the house, I'm very happy to welcome Yvonne Jenkin. She is one of the lead gardeners here at Project Living Proof, and she's active with the Master Gardeners of Greater Kansas City. So, Master Gardeners are a volunteer program and they are directed by the Extension Services from state universities, so ours is University of Missouri. Uh, it is a national program. Uh, there are Master Gardeners in, I believe, every state. And they are all a little bit different, but it was started as a volunteer service to provide help for the cities to care for public properties. Our Master Gardeners of Greater Kansas City have over 30 projects, of which Project Living Proof is one. We also do Truman House, Warnell House, uh, we do community gardens, we do school outreach programs with children, um, and answer questions on our hotline. <laughs> so how did you first connect with Project Living Proof? I mean, how does this location sync up with what it is that you and your team do? So I became involved in Project Living Proof in 2012. I was asked to take over the project. It was a new project at that time by our extension agent that is our advisor. They were looking for a native garden. A lot of the hardscape had already been put in, raised beds were in and the walkways were in. They asked us to do the garden and that's how we started. What can you tell us about the kind of plantings or trees that you have here on site? One of the goals was to make an urban garden that had edibles as well as beautiful flowers. And so we've added fruit trees to do that. And now we have raised beds, which have tomatoes in them. Mostly it was to avoid using a lot of water and a lot of time. So there is no lawn, there is no mowing, there is no raking, <laughs> but it's almost all native plants. For a relatively small, yard combined, there is a lot of output here. Let's put it that way. Uh, what do the master gardeners do with the vegetables and the fruit that they produce over the course of a season? What we hope is that people will be walking by as we are doing our work days and we can share it with people who are going by. We have in the past donated to uh, harvesters, but mostly we try to give it to people who are visiting the garden. <laughs> Sounds like a fairly surefire way of luring the occasional new recruit, at least I certainly hope so. What else about what you do appeals to you? I mean, there could, there's a lot of things that go into this. There's local food production, there's self-sufficiency, there's helping native pollinators. Um, what's your favorite part of what you do? Well, it's always nice to be with a group of people who are as enthusiastic about gardening as you are. So we do a lot of talking and planning and guesswork on what you know, new things we can try. My favorite thing, I am a pollinator geek, so I am into native bees and butterfly host plants and things like that. We just put a, a pollinator bed in yesterday in the front, uh, front garden. So, but I'm also, I my master gardener beginnings are, we're in the state of Utah, which is a very different ecosystem from here. And so water conservation is incredibly important to me. and. That's one of the things we, we water our new plants, but we don't water anything else. So, you know, we water the tomatoes once a week, but, uh, but once things are established, particularly native plants, they are native and they are used to this ecosystem. Okay. There's a little bit of a personal bias embedded in this question, but I've got to ask if you would be okay with uh, the installation of a beehive uh, sometime next spring here at Project Living Group. That would be fantastic. Having beehives are a learning process and it's great for the flowers and the fruit trees and everything else because they can get pollinated. Fair enough in that if you are having a hard time attracting uh, volunteers and interested people with fruits and vegetables, I think honey uh, might well do the trick. So definitely worth a try. Our thanks again to Yvonne Jenkin and everything that the Master Gardeners do for us here at Project Living Proof.